Hello, it's Karen Berniston here with a preview video of the 14 new die sets in our August 2021 release. So we have a popular series of dies that are already available that are our pop-up ball and add-on sets. So it started with the surprise ball and the flap and closure that helps keep your card closed. And then people were styling so many animals out of that surprise ball that we came out with the bitty ball pop-up, which is smaller, but very much geared towards making animals. So there's a difference in size, about 20%. You can see here between this head and the body. Then there are animal add-on sets. So you can make cats and foxes and pigs and hippos and giraffes and penguins, all sorts of things. Those are the add-on sets that you use to decorate the balls to create those different animals. And you can make those animals by stacking two bitty balls together or a bitty on top and a surprise on the bottom. So we're expanding beyond animals and getting into characters now. So character add-ons one is a Halloween set. It can make a vampire or a pumpkin head or just a jack-o'-lantern. This set is very much designed to be used with the bitty ball pop-up, although I did make the jack-o'-lantern using the surprise ball. And then the other character add-on set, character add-ons too, is the Santa and Mrs. Claus. You can see how cute those are. Mrs. Claus in this case is made by stacking two bitty balls together. Santa Claus in this case was made using bitty ball and surprise ball. It's totally fine to use just the bitty for everything. I just like to show the differences. A very popular die from our last release is our tiny house pop-up. So it makes an adorable little pop-up tiny house. It comes with all of the little doors and windows and flower boxes and things you see there and includes a cool stamping feature for the roof. In the same release, we released our first tiny house add-ons, which was the mushroom tiny house add-ons to convert the tiny house into a mushroom house. Our brand philosophy is to create die sets that are timeless tools. And then as new die sets come out, they just add to the collection with new looks. So in this release, we have two tiny house add-on sets. The gingerbread tiny house add-ons will add all the little candies and icing that you need to convert the tiny house into a gingerbread house. Okay, so in addition to the gingerbread house, there is also the tiny haunted house add-ons. So that will give all the little styling items that you need to convert the tiny house into a haunted house. This card also shows the new Happy Halloween die set and makes use of a previously released die, the landscape scene. We have a new street lantern pop-up. So this is a great die versatility wise. You can use it flat and you can combine the pole and the lantern in lots of different ways. It comes with some elements for Christmas cards like a swag and a wreath and a bow, but then also you can just use it year round. It has a simple little generic pop-up mechanism included for when you want to make it into a pop-up card. But then it also combines so well with the other pop-up. So you saw a little preview of it in this card where it's just been shortened to fit the size of this gingerbread house card and just cut out of gingerbread colors. We have another set of Long Nature Edges. So Long Nature Edges 2 has trees and flowers and snowflakes. So looking at the trees, they are a row of trees along a stitched hill and there is a stamp feature for the foliage. So if you ink up that die before you cut it, it will put the swirl pattern in. And then there's a row of flowers that are very easy to bend to any shape. You can also do the trees as bare trees. You don't have to put the foliage behind them. There's also a row of snowflakes in that set. I promised that we would get the Iron Fence pop-up re-released this year, and we did it. So the Iron Fence pop-up is a great little arching fence. It can be styled for any time of year. It is a re-release for one that I had when I was with Elizabeth Craft Designs as a licensed artist. So I didn't make many changes to it. I think the birds now have wings. But other than that, it's the same die. Wonderful little arching fence that can be styled for any season. You can see how well those new long nature edges too work in the background of that card. Really easy and quick assembly on the iron fence as well. Another requested die for my licensing days was the Garden Bench pop-up. However, I really can't call this one a re-release because it has been completely redesigned. I made some changes to the design in the background of the bench, as well as adding some additional support. It is a glue-in design now instead of a cut-in, so that's a big change. It also comes with more pieces. You now get some extra platforms to be able to animate things in the bench. Comes with a pillow, flower, and grass. Street Lantern pop-up, Hello, and Tiny Gnomes are used here. 
The script hello die includes a shadow die and you also have an optional stencil feature to add stitch lines to it. And then the new tiny gnomes is also a die and stamp all in one. So there is a stamp feature for the beard, mustache, and braids. So these little cuties can be styled for year-round cards, but then also as Christmas gnomes, and you can also make a little bonus character, a Christmas caroler. We do have a previously released gnome and Santa die set, and if you'd like to see the difference in size, here's a gnome from the original set, and then now we've got the tiny gnomes, which are smaller. And I think with the Mushroom House is a good example where you might use both. You might use the bigger gnome on the front, and maybe one of the tiny ones on the inside. The tiny gnomes are perfectly sized to fit with the garden bench. You can see a tiny gnome there on one of the little extra pop-up platforms that come with the garden bench. Street lantern pop-up, long nature edges too. All of our little small animal sets also work really well with the garden bench. So here's the little penguin sitting in the bench, again with the street lantern pop-up and long nature edges too. Our Merry Christmas script die is already available but what we have in this release is a new shadow to fit it. So you can see it here. It's just the perfect shadow to go behind that previously released Merry Christmas. And then the final new pop-up in this release is the snowman pop-up. And then there is a word set, word set 13 snow, to go with it. And here you can see those two dies used together along with the long nature edges too. And our snowflakes pattern plate for this card, Snow Much Fun. You can see that cute little pop-up snowman. These 14 new die sets are shipping at the beginning of August to a lot of your favorite local and online retailers and will be available for order from our website, karenberniston.com, starting August 9th, 2021. Thanks for watching.